So what I'm going to talk about in this video is the Newton's first law and the concept of inertia. And uh, the first law states that if an object is at rest, it will remain at rest. And if an object is in, is in motion, it will continue moving in a straight line at a constant speed in the absence of a resultant force. So what is this law is that if you have an object which is at rest, so it will remain at rest. Since no other forces are acting on the object, it will remain at rest. And if an object is moving at a straight line in a, at a constant speed, it will keep moving in a straight line and it will have zero acceleration. Why it will have zero acceleration? Because the resultant force is zero. The object will keep moving in a straight line with zero acceleration at a constant speed. So imagine an astronaut throwing a ball in an outer space and uh, if there are no forces acting on the ball, not even the gravitational forces, the ball will keep moving in a straight line at a constant speed until it experiences an, a resultant force. Now this is something we cannot experience on the earth because when you throw a ball downwards, what happens? The ball falls due to the force of gravity. The force of gravity acts on the object. And there are also other forces such as the drag force, the frictional forces. So this is something that you cannot experience on the earth. And the Newton's first law implies that every matter has an inbuilt tendency to resist any change in its state of rest or uniform motion. So it has this inbuilt tendency to stop moving or start moving. And uh, this leads to the term inertia. So what is inertia? Inertia is the reluctance of an object to start moving if it is at rest and to stop moving if it is in motion. So inertia, this property common to all matter is known as the inertia and it is the property of the mass and all objects whether small whether big they possess inertia I'm going to write the definition so inertia is the property of a mass it is the property of a mass Every object which has mass has inertia, which resists changes from or change from its state of rest or motion. So let's say you, you have two objects, one is a object with a greater mass, I'll call this M1 and this is a mass of, this is a smaller mass, right? So you have M1 and M2 and both are at rest. So obviously it would be difficult if a person pushes both of these objects, obviously M1 would be more difficult to push. It would be, it would require a larger force. So it has a larger reluctance to start moving. So a reluctance to start moving for M1 is greater than M2. So the larger the mass of the object, the greater its inertia. So reluctance to start moving for M1 is greater than M2. And similarly, if you have, uh, you know, two, two objects which are moving at the same speed, but uh, if the larger object of M1, let's say this is the larger object M1, and this is the smaller object that is M2. If M1 and M2 are both moving at the same speed, you see they have the same speed V. So 
which one would be more difficult to stop? So obviously, M1 would be more difficult to stop because it has a larger mass and hence it has a larger inertia. So, M1 is more difficult to stop as well because it has a greater mass and hence a larger inertia. So, reluctance to stop moving. Difficult to stop. So that's why uh, drivers have to wear the seat belt when driving because the effects of inertia can cause accidents because once you apply the brakes, the car will stop but the person will not stop because the person will keep moving forward and his head or her head will hit the uh, screen, right? So uh, you have to wear a seat belt whenever you're driving because of this property of inertia. So drivers need to be careful when driving. Uh, now I'm going to show you a picture which demonstrates the effect of inertia. So there you go. So this picture describes the concept of inertia in an amazing way. It states that your truck has brakes, but the massive hunk of stone doesn't. So when the driver of the truck applies the brakes, the truck stops, but the stone that is behind the truck in the container, it will smash through it because it has such a large mass and this explains why the reluctance of an object which is moving will cause the object to keep moving in a straight line. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching and subscribe to my channel Physics with Cyrus Sasak. Thank you very much.